Hey guys, I'm Tara, and welcome to another episode of Cocktails with Canadians. A good friend, his name is Steve Moulton. It's all happening. Oh, uh, uh, my goodness. I live with two other of my bros. One I'm couch not... is very ugly, but so very good to sleep on. What is the story behind this? In the summertime, when it's really, really hot and we have the air conditioner running, if you try to use the microwave, it will short circuit this whole wall of circuitry. So I stuck a note on here, on the microwave, that said be sure to turn off air conditioner before turning on the microwave. <laughs> then after, my, uh, after air conditioner season passed, one of my roommates threw away the note. So I wrote a note that says you killed my brother. One of my favorite ever mixed drinks was in my college days. Going into a liquor store. Where I grew up we have state store. Get it from a retired policeman. Sad old man. I paid 10 bucks for this and I'm supposed to drink it. I paid 13 bucks. I'm not paying 23 bucks. Usually when I show up to a party, it's out of scotch first. Woo! That's the cheapest bottle of scotch in the store. In those days, vanilla coke was huge. It's also got scotch in it. Coke like cocaine, cocaine snow. Uh. I used to refer to it as a, uh, a kilted snowman. Thank you for that definition of cocaine. You're very so welcome. No. Mm -hmm. mm. What got you into comedy? Oh, geez. Um, well, I just kind of was... I played football for one season when I was eight. My parents made me quit soccer when I was five. So I just wasn't really into sports in general. So. Me, on a, as a little kid on a Saturday night, would be up late watching HBO Comedy Hour. But my buddies would come in talking sports, 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 and then I'd have stuff to make them laugh. Gordon, who does this at the wedding and people will watch it? The biggest the laugh? The biggest laugh that you've gotten. My biggest laugh, honestly, this is one of my favorite of my jokes. Uh -huh. um, I tell a joke, I talk about how people are being discourteous, and you know, everybody's getting more and more like selfish, they don't care about their fellow man. I drove a stripper home one night from North Hollywood all the way to Van Nuys, which isn't far. Shit. It's not a far drive at all. It's maybe, That's 10, far. it's maybe 10 to 15 minutes. Look at that and she didn't even offer me a third blowjob. I'm always worried that people aren't going to get that joke. <laughs> one is more than generous. But the idea that two happened is incredible. And then won't offer a third. Now, uh, now you're the asshole. I'm the asshole. Woo! <laughs> oh, that's right. Dude, you know what I really want? Have you watched Agent Carter on ABC? I just want to play a chubby dude that Haley Atwell just like, you know, gets the best of. Like, don't mess around, Farva. And uh, she lets That's him. That's what she says. She, she says it like that. Don't yeah. mess around, Farva. I'd love to be one of those guys. Just some chubby creep in the 40s who's like, nah, see, dames ought to stay in the kitchen. Nah. And then Haley Atwell's like, ah, I don't think so, you chubby son of a bitch. And then she, <laughs> I don't know, jams a fork into the back of my hand or something. Ooh, that would I'd be play fun. That. Bamba. La Bamba. The La Bamba. But then what's another? Bamba, 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 bamba. A little fallen soldier here who's not being dragged back to the foxhole. Woo! He's going now. You you're in it. Eddie Griffin the movie. It's called Mucha De Niro. Oh. Van Dean is in it. Danny Trejo. John Grievous is in this movie. Best quote is yeah. already out there. What is it's it? It's been out there for about ooh, <laughs> over 20 years. Yeah said by the big man himself, uh -huh. Clarence Clemens? Oh, yeah, Clarence Clemens. Yeah. In the movie Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, uh -huh. be excellent to each other. Look, be excellent, excellent to, to each, each other. other. And thank you for watching Cocktails with Comedians with Steve Moulton. He's laughing at me or something. He just spat.